in with HBM Wilds. Yeah, what's going on? How you doing, man? Uh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How's it going? Yeah. All right. So start off. Uh, tell me a little bit about like the name HBM Wilds. What What does that come from? Word. Well, my name is Wilds, and um, HBM is Heavy Bag Monopoly. That's the label. That's the team. That's um, something that I um, came up with probably like around 2017. Around the 2017. I came up with it before I've been rapping for like, you know what I'm saying, I've been a studio rapper, you know, in studios since I was like 16. Okay. I've been rapping since before then, you know. But, uh, yeah, and then, um, let's see, about like 20, at the end of 2017, I was, you know what I'm saying, I'm still doing shows, I'm rapping, whatever, but I knew, I realized that like, I got a lot of homies that like, I want, you know what I'm saying, to be a part, you know what I'm saying, and like, not only that, I wanted to be like more of a, uh, I need to understand more of the business okay. of of uh, the music industry, and for me to understand the more of the business industry, I would have to be more of a bird's eye view, you know what I'm saying, versus like just an artist, you know what I'm saying. So I took myself outside of the artist standpoint as well, and also as a boss standpoint, so I could see it was really good, and then like you know I started building something from there, a foundation, and yeah. from now I got you know what I'm saying a solid team. You know what I'm I got my people with me. And they always with me on time. Okay, yeah, okay. And so, like, how many people are in your label right now? Would you say? I mean, shit, if you get a bag, man, you have a bag enough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, everybody yeah. a bag. You know it's what I'm like saying? It's like a movement. It, it's a movement, man. It's like you know what I'm saying. You get a bag, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be motivated. You know what I'm saying? We, we don't just get a bag. We get a heavy bag, a big bag, a big one. You know what I'm saying? That's what we chase. Okay. And we gotta impute that to the people. You know what I'm saying? That like you could do it too, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these old heads be saying, Oh, back in my back in the eighties, we you know what I'm saying, we was getting money. Nah, man, we getting money for real. Not like non generation this generation they're making there's millionaires at seventeen years old, sixteen years old, going, you know what I'm saying, and are going viral. You know what I'm saying? They there's the there's no money in the street now, it's all in the internet. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So people need to learn that, you know what I'm saying, to, you can start a business and you can go go sell out 100,000 on Amazon, you know what I'm saying, off socks, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and, and be, you know what I'm saying, that man. So a lot of people don't know that, you know what I'm saying, so it, um, what I do is I try and just impute it to my music, you know what I'm saying, show people, you know, we having fun out here, but at the same time, we always working and we just make it look fun, you know what I'm saying, we I really just you. working all the time and we f focusing on ourselves and building ourselves better, so we, we make sure we get money. We don't get a company money. We get the money, and then we take Invest care of our back people. Into the yeah, for a fact. I got you. I got you. So musically, what would you say? Are like some of your, your inspirations or your influences? Oh man, rap, rap wise, like rap wise, man. Wayne, you know what I'm saying? It's, okay. it's a goat to me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people be like, oh, you know, I, you know, I respect. You know what I'm saying? Jay Z, you know, it's dope. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. But like, I, when I when I was coming up, I studied Wayne. Mm -hmm. Because Wayne had the blueprint. I feel like Wayne got the blueprint. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You you got it down, drop nonstop. You guys seem like all you do is rap. This man was, all he was doing was rapping, you know what I'm saying? And everything was hot. Everything he said was hot. It was effortless, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. you got to make sure that whatever you put out is for the people and that they're going to love it. And um, also, he was just like, there. there's others, there's like niggas like um, uh, Gucci and... I really looked into uh, bosses as well. I started uh, looking into like interviews, like from Master P to Birdman, uh, to to really like understand the game because they give a lot of gems. Yeah. And those like those are like like my influences. Cause, like I just I want to understand the game. I you know what I'm saying? But I want to be like you know what I'm saying the hottest rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like Wayne, he was saying he's the hottest rapper alive. But at the end of the day, there's more money out here if you take the Master P approach. You know what I'm saying? You could have a whole bunch of Waynes. I got you. Know you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You could have you know what I'm saying? All the, well, it don't you don't gotta be the only boss. You know what okay. I'm saying? I wanna be amongst bosses. And know? so from like your studying and like I hear you, that's like the second time you reiterated the term of like that you wanna be the boss, you want the business and what is like some of the most important things that you've learned maybe from the interviews or just from your own experiences that, you know, put you in that position to separate you from other artists? All right, well, first off, what makes me, what, what made me come into the point where I felt like I needed to become a boss was that I was like, when you becoming an artist and you're doing this independent thing, it's like, it's, it's one thing if you're just going out to shows and hoping like, oh, I hope someone signs me. 
You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you just look at me artist at that point. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Me, I was like, all right, so what if I am the label? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Now what? All right, so what would the label do? Now we got to move this way. If I don't know how, I got to learn. So mm-hmm. how do I learn? Let me look up some 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 CEOs and see what they talking about on YouTube. There, there there's hour long videos of this shit. Like people are really telling you the game. Like like all right, so I started out doing coffee and then I started out doing this and then I it's like boom, step by step by step the game right there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So um, what's it called? I um, oh it makes me. So, yeah, so me being an independent artist, I wasn't looking for no manager or anything. I was like, I got to be the manager. But what yeah. the hell does a manager do? I don't know. You yeah, know what I'm exactly. saying? I got to learn. You feel me? So that's what made me do that. And so as I'm learning this, you know what I'm saying, I start elevating myself. And then there's other artists that are still being artists. And then, like, they're inviting me to certain places, you know what I'm saying, like, to be amongst other artists. And, like, they're hoping. It's like, you know, you can just throw this event. You know what I'm saying? You can do this on your own, and I'm pretty sure these, these same people will pull up, and now you the man, because you run the shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And it's like, you gotta look at a bird's eye view, and that's when I, when I started realizing that, like, I was looking at a bird's eye view, like, over everything. I was like, oh, okay, this is how you, this is how you maneuver in the game. Like, like this is how you, how you, you know what I'm saying? How business works. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, because before, I'm just, I'm, I was just a product. You know what okay. so you're an artist, you're just a product. You know what I'm saying? That, that's dope. A product makes some money. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But how do you manage that money? How do you make that money keep coming? Yeah. I had to learn that. So that's that's basically what. So when I started learning that, you know what I'm saying? I see my boys doing, you know what I'm saying? Trying to be on the rap. And bro, I'm going to tell you, bro, listen, we got to do it this way. Do it yeah. that way. You know what I'm saying? I had to learn from other people. There's, there's so many people that told me the game. There's so many people that didn't tell me the game. And I had to fail many times. And I, and I when every time I failed, it was just another lesson learned. I was just like, all right, so that don't work. But, you know what I'm saying, maybe it works for this person. It just, it, you got your own path, you know what I'm saying? So whatever works for him, it might not work for you. But regardless, you know what I'm saying, you know that you doing something right because somehow you keep aligning with this person. You they, you guys at the same events all the time. Every yeah. time you go to a, a photo shoot, he there, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, all right, so I, I'm, I'm doing something right. But, you know what I'm saying, it's, he's moving a little quicker, but it's cool. God yeah. got me, you know what I'm saying? So you. When, you, when you just focus on yourself, you know what I'm saying? It's like, all right, you got so many things that you can do for yourself versus what you can do for others. And when you start doing for yourself, the other people, they'll start looking at you like, yo, how did you do that, that, and that? I was trying to do that. I didn't figure that out yet. You might figure out something that someone else didn't. Mm -hmm. And that's really like the way how you network, but get respect in the game because people like respect knowledge. You know what I'm saying? They want to learn too. At the end of the day, we ain't really trying to step on nobody's toes, bro. We should all be winners. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, why do you got to be the only boss? You, I I learned that from 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 uh, a good a good a good boy of mine. He in heavy bag too. He be uh, we all be appealing game to each other. We just be talking, bro, and uh, we make sure we that we that we understand like like um, we all bosses. We all kings. You know what I'm saying? Like we all gotta get it. And there's other people out there that aren't gonna see it. But I, I, I like to say it like uh, it, niggas ain't Kanye like me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like. Explain they, that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be, niggas be, niggas will tell you that Kanye's crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, but you be like, damn, Kanye, like, shut up. It's like, bro, like, I'll, I can tell you a vision. It might sound so big, bro. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? Like, like you, they might sound crazy, but it's like, listen, man, like, in two years, bro, I'm, you know, I'm going to be doing shows, bro. Heavy bag Monopoly, I'm going to be doing that. You know what I'm saying? And boom. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 you guys didn't see the vision, but I saw it because it already exists. Once you see it, it already exists in this plane. You got to yeah. bring it down from this plane to this reality. And now it's for everybody to see. But once yeah. you see it, it already exists. You just got to bring it to reality. I got you. So let me ask you something. Some of the things you're saying, I've been watching Russ interviews recently. I don't know if you watch anything he says, but one thing that he, you said basically that he um, iterated, I think maybe in the Revolt Summer Summit, is that when you do all those positions, that at a point when you try to hire someone to do those jobs, it makes you in a position that they can't bullshit you. Because if you did the job and they're telling you it can't be done this way, then it's a difference because you're like, wait a minute, I've done it myself. And so it puts you, one thing that artists sleep on by doing all those other roles is that long term it puts you in a position to win because you understand what everyone should be able to do. You know what I'm saying? And so I respect that a lot, you know what I mean? And so um, I want to ask you something that caught my attention like on your musical side. 
because now you're talking your label side but on your creative side i noticed in the background of your mixtape you have like the anime um background and i see it like a few times in your posts like what's your um i guess inspirations or your influences of like anime and stuff in your music Anime, man. Uh, I'm not really a big anime guy. Keep it a buck. I'm not really. really? Uh, and I mean, growing up, growing up, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? I was into cartoons and shit. You know what I'm saying? I watched Dragon Ball Z, Yu Yu Hakusho, Roni Kenshin. You know what I'm saying? I know about, you know what I'm saying? Gundam Wing, uh, G Gundam and shit. That's what I was into. You know what I'm saying? Um, basically, just with uh, this one, I was like, whip it the movie. You know what I'm saying? It sounded like a movie. You know what I'm saying? Knock, knock, open up the door. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then. Whip it, you know what I'm saying? Wild skill the scene, uh, cut. You know what I'm saying? That's the last song, you okay, feel me? So it's yeah. like, whip it, the movie, you know, how we gonna do it? It was like, uh, this right here, like, like how you said, um, uh, with the Russ interview, you got it, uh, when you, when you're a man of many hats, you know what I'm saying? Not only that, the, the people that you're with, they gotta have many hats too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? My boy right here, he got many hats. He a cameraman, he a producer, he, he did the, 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 the cover as well. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, um, when it came to the cover, man, we was just talking because we already had like like three covers. We had like three minutes like, this, this guy, you know, we'd be working. Yeah. We had like three covers for it, and we was like, uh, uh, I was like, nah, man, I like, I like, I like uh, uh, this one with, with the doors open. You know, what I'm saying red carpet, but we need uh some bitches in the back. And he was like, but we didn't want to find like 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 everybody like like no like uh. Got their own opinion, you know what I'm saying? This girl might be pretty, this girl might be ugly. You can't say a cartoon's pretty or ugly, you know what I'm saying? A yeah, bad bitch okay, is a bad yeah. bitch, you feel know I me? Mean? Like, you know what it's supposed to be. So we got a whole bunch of hoes, you know what I'm saying? Back going crazy, like I'm Chip Skylark. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was like, I already knew this is gonna go. It just matched, it just matched, it just matched the, uh, the music. You okay, know what I'm saying? Okay. It's like, that, that's me. That's yeah, me. I feel you. Yeah, I'm popping out. Nah, it stood out to me, like definitely. So I had to ask you about that. Um, So, you basically you touched on this, but a lot of artists are like fascinated by the idea of a movie. Um, you made your mixtapes called Whip It the Movie. So what what made you that takes a lot of confidence one to do. And like what made you want to do that specifically? Um man, I had uh Man, it's crazy because I, I just got so much music, bro. I got so much music, and like this ain't the only mixtape. Like I got, man, I don't, I don't even want to say what I was giving too much, but like, so, um, so we already had Whip It, the song Whip It, but I'm already like on some like I'm, I I got like six projects worth of material already like mm -hmm. damn near done. We just mixing it, and we gonna I got another one ready. I got another one ready, and. Uh, One, you know what I'm saying? So we, we had the idea, I had the idea of doing one called like, like, like Netflix the album. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Netflix the album. And, yeah. uh, but the reason why this one wasn't Netflix the album was because Netflix, I, I got a, I got an idea for that, that I'm going to do with that mm -hmm. when I drop it. So it's going to be completely different, something that someone's never done. Okay. But with this one, Whip It was already going crazy. I needed some shit to drop, you know what I'm saying? I need to drop a project because I just needed more music. Uh, I wasn't fucking with SoundCloud no more. And I want to go on all streaming platforms. So I was like, I'm going to start new. I'm just going to whip it and I'm just going to put a project out. My first project was like six years ago. I ain't dropped a project since then. I've been dropping singles. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Getting my fan base and letting you know, people know I'm out here. And, uh,. Yeah, so when Whippet came out, I was like, uh, just, just the vibe to it, man. We just in the studio, we just smoking, you know what I'm saying? We listened to this shit, and I was like, bro, this shit sound like a fucking movie, bro. Mm -hmm. Shit sound like a fucking movie, bro. And then, like, the, the, the order that we got to it, we just like, all right, so Whippet's on there, Whippet's the single, Whippet the movie, nigga. We, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I was already promoting Whippet crazy, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm like, I was all, like, but when I dropped something, it's like, that's, that's, you know what I'm saying? If I dropped a, a song called Blue Wall, you know what I'm saying? I'm in Blue Wall World. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's me. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's all I'm thinking about. Yeah. So uh, when Whip It drop, that's all I was fucking thinking about. You know what I'm saying? If I see somebody drive by, play, play Whip It! You know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. I'm telling you, hey, follow me on yeah, Instagram. You know, yeah. bro, that's, all, that's all it is. So when they asked me about, then we wanted to miss it, man. It's whipping the movie, man. It was what the fuck, you know? So that's how I felt about it. 